So what inspired me to make this video was I saw loads of videos on YouTube like top 5 ninja fortnite deaths and top 5 female celebrities that play video games but I couldn't find any about racists so in that moment I felt obligated that I pretty much had to make a video to commend the top 5 greatest racists of all time at number 5 we have James A. Corscott this man was the Imperial Wizard of five years between 1939 and 1944 and he led the clan into greatness and it hit the remarkable lien of $685,000 by the IRS at which he unfortunately dissolved the clan. Maybe if he kept it going he would be higher on this list but for that reason he's only number five. At number four, we have Daisy Douglas Barr. She was the invisible wizard on the women's KKK and holds a very, very special place in history as one of the only females to ever lead something and have authority. You could say it doesn't really count because she only had authority over other females, but it's the closest we'll ever get. At number three, we have Anthony Johnson. Now, unfortunately, we don't know the first man that started slavery, but this man was the first great of the property owners and the businessmen, so probably had a significant role in starting the big trend. At number two, of course, we have Adolf Hitler, which is one of the most renowned racists of all time, and falsely believed to be the top racist best of the best. He brutally murdered 1.5 million Jews. That's a lot of Jews. But unfortunately, that wasn't enough to get the top spot on my list. Maybe if he killed around 50 million more, he would be at number one, but the number one spot is only for a man that achieved true greatness in his racism. And that man is not Hitler. At number one, we have Pablo Picasso, the goat of racism. Picasso was known for a lot of things. He was a painter, sculptor, printmaker, and many more things, but all pale in comparison to his best hobby. Now, what you probably don't know about him is that he was a racist, as he often spent his time bullying white people in the dark alleys of Paris, which with the French sheep and cows. And what's greatest about him is he actually started the catchphrases, which he partly adopted from working some with the French sheep and cows, as some hit some superheroes would say ordinary boring lines when hitting their enemies. Casso would say, Lamar, get Lamar, get Lamar. So, undisputedly, the best, the greatest racism, the greatest racist of all time.